around, and if it keeps up with the rest of them, it'll be closely contested and hard to score. Nice strike after catching one by Carlos Monzon. Carlos Monzon's got speed, no doubt about it. You can see his ability to land combinations with ease. Yeah, but what you want to see now is how effective he is down the road with that speed. Does he place his punches? Is he intelligent with that speed? Move your head. Come on. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Carlos Monzon. Carlos Monzon's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Just like that. Nice two-punch combo by Carlos Monzon. 90 seconds into the ninth round. And now he scores well with a straight right. doing well here with that two punch combination blocks away that headshot Carlos Monzon's not just loading up he's landing combination punches like he did right there this is just beautiful to watch watch how he just links one to the next, Teddy. A beautiful sequence, almost like musical notes being played. Well, exactly. It's a nice tune because it just follows. One, as you said, follows the other. Nice and smooth. Unload. Ball punch. Hagler's showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good, crisp combos. Monzon's punch is far off the target. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Hagler's gonna really regret when he hears the scorecards, Red, because he lost that last round just based on defensive laziness. Well, you can always make comparisons, analogies. You watch a basketball game, you say, you know what, this team goes losing because they're not rebounding, they're not boxing out underneath the boards. Well, guess what? They weren't taught how to do that. You have to know how to do that. He's not gonna start showing you defense if he doesn't know how. He does not know how. He has not been taught. You don't need that. Throw that away. Start round number 10. <laughs> Parries that punch intended for the head. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Carlos Monzon. Hagler's thinking right now that he's doing a good job defensively, but it's really not the case, Teddy. Every so often, you will see a punch split that guard. Yeah, he's just standing there. First of all, the gloves, he needs to extend them just a little bit away. So as you said, those punches, you know, aren't going to force their way through to the target, which they're doing right now. They're getting down to him. They're getting through to him. As basic as can be, but it works. A jab followed by the straight. Two. 
two by Marvin Hagler. be accurate to send the combination to the body and he does that that is exactly what the corner wanted to see a good combination punch by Marvin Hagler one, but gives one. Good work by Carlos Monzon. Hagler's taken a lot of punishment with the right hand. Teddy, you've said many times, it's where you put your own head when you get hit by those right hands. Well, one place I could tell you where not to put it, in the middle. And he needs to move it to the left, outside that right hand. of round 10. Well, you just need to pace yourself. Oh, this is a wipeout. You're winning this fight. Just keep doing what you're doing. You got this. Just, just keep doing what you're doing. You need to capitalize on his misses, okay? I want to see that... Carlos Monzon's skill has shown through tonight. He has a lead on Teddy's scorecard, but this fight is still very much in doubt. And he better realize that this fight is not over because if he doesn't, his opponent will show him very quickly. Doubling up the jab by Marvin Hagler. Plus shot lands after blocking away his opponent's effort. He comes right back at him with a left hand. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Hagler's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target. Get the combination working, land both punches. Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. There's the combo downstairs. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going up. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Boy, he is shaky right there. He is on shaky ground in the ring right now. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Hagler is not showing that he's got a great IQ when it comes to ring generalship here. He's just stationary, not much movement at all. No, not at all, and it's feeding right into his opponent. He knows where to find them and where to find them at all times. He needs to get on those legs a little bit and start changing a little bit of his placement here where he is. He's always in the same place. 